So let's look at uh, generating the nth term rule for linear sequences. So find an expression for the nth term of each of these sequences. So the first sequence, 5, 7, 9, 11. Well, we know that A is the first term, and that's equal to 5, and D is the difference between each term, and the D is equal to 2 here. So we use the formula uh, for the nth term rule for a linear sequence is tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 all times d. So we substitute in uh, 5 for a, 2 for d, and we work out that tn, the nth term rule for this linear sequence, is given by tn equals 2n plus 3. The second one here, 4, 7, uh, 10, 13. The first term a is 4. The difference between each term is 3. Plug that into the equation, and we get the nth term rule for this linear sequence is tn is equal to 3n plus 1. 6, 10, 14, 18. So the first term a is 6, and the difference between each consecutive term is 4, or the constant that's been added to generate the next term. We use the formula, we plug in uh, 6 for a, 4 for d, and we get the nth term rule tn is equal to 4n plus 2 for this linear sequence. Find an expression for the nth term of these sequences. Okay, so this one starts with minus 3, 0, 3, 6, 9. So A, our first term is minus 3. Our difference is plus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0, plus 3 is 3, and so on. Put that into the formula and you get uh, Tn is equal to 3n minus 6. And remember, we like to write uh, our nth term rule to be equal to, you know, whatever by n. Uh, plus or minus the, the number. Okay. Fourth one, uh, 20, 15, 10, 5. So our first term is 20, but this time our difference is negative in that it's minus 5. Uh, so you know that the difference can be positive or negative. It can be a whole number or a decimal number. It depends on the sequence you're given. So plug 20 in for A, minus 5 for D. Be careful with your negative sign multiplication there. And you get tn is equal to minus 5n plus 25. Now we'll just check that and check any of these sequences, but we'll just check this one because we'll note that that's t1, t2, t, t3, and this value here is t4. t4 is 5. So if I actually look to find t4 by plugging in 4 every time I see n, I see that tn, or, or sorry, t4, works out to have a value of 5, which is correct. So for the next part of the video, we're going to look at uh, generating the nth term rule, but this time for quadratic sequences. But we'll start by seeing how we can find the next two terms uh, of a quadratic sequence given three or four or five terms. Okay, So we're going to find the next two terms of these quadratic sequences by finding the first and second differences. And it's important to note, NB, uh, that we will know or can prove that sequences are quadratic if the second difference we find is constant, i.e. the same. And also, just so that you're aware that the second difference in you know quadratic sequence that you can be presented with, uh, you know, it can be negative and it can be a decimal. It doesn't have to be positive whole numbers. It can be negative decimals, okay, like point seven or one point two or whatever. Okay. So let's look at this first uh, problem here. We're being asked to find the next two terms of this quadratic sequence. Okay, so the first thing we do is we find the first difference. So we draw our lines like this, and we say that 4, this value here, is 4 minus 3, it's 1. 6 minus 4 is 2, 9 minus 6 is 3, 13 minus 9 is 4. Then we say 2 minus 1 is 1. This starts giving us our second difference. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 4 minus 3 is 1. And we can see that you know, we've 1, 1, 1. Uh, and you know, this is the constant of the same. So this definitely is a quadratic anyway. But we want to find the next two terms. So we write out what, we, what we've just done. 3, 4, that's what we were given. First difference, second difference. And the way to, to work our way back up to these next two terms, which is what we're going to be looking for, uh, is we say to ourselves, OK, we're down here. We've 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 
3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus, and I know that it should be a 1 here, so I put the 1 here. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus, and I know I can put 1 there, is 6. Okay? And if I start here, I can say 6 and 3 is 9. Uh, 9 and 4 is 13. 13 and 5 is 18. 18 and 6 is 24. So I kind of work my way back up towards the two terms I'm looking for. Look at this one. Uh, 3, 6, 11, 18 and 27. And I'm looking to find the next two terms, which I've done and I have them boxed. But imagine I didn't have these done yet. Uh, I find the first difference, the second difference, and then I can just start anywhere along. I can say 5 and 2, uh, sorry, 5 and 2 is 7 and 2 is 9 and 2 is uh, because I know these will all be 2's along here, because the constant uh, is 11, 11 2 is 13. So then I have 18 and 9 is 27, and 11 is 38, and 13 is 51. Here again, I'm given 2, 7, 14, 23, and 34. Uh, 7 minus 2 is 5, 14 minus 7 is 7, 23 minus 14 is 9, 34 minus 23 is 11, uh, so now I get I look for a first difference sorted. Look for the second difference. Seven minus five is two. Nine minus seven is two. Eleven minus nine is two. Uh, so I know these are all going to be twos. The it is a quadratic, and uh, the second difference is constant. It's two. So I can say seven two is nine. Nine two is eleven, and two is thirteen, and two is fifteen. Then I can say 23 and 11 is 34, and 13 is 47, that's one of them, and 47 and 15 is 62. Now, how to find the nth term rule for quadratic sequences. Find an expression for the nth term of these sequences. Now, we're going to be using the fact that the form of the nth term is given by and is found using tn equals an squared plus bn plus c. And we know that our a is the second difference of the sequence divided by 2, or half the second difference. And b and c will find uh, by generating two equations and solving them simultaneously. So first of all, let's find the first difference. Uh, 7 minus 10 is 3, 15 minus 10 is 5, 22 minus 15 is 7, 31 minus 22 is 9. 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, 2. So we can see that our second difference is 2, that means a is Half of 2, or 2 over 2, is 1. Okay. Now the next step is to write the form tn equals an squared plus bn plus c. And to note that our a is 1, so just to write that in there. So tn equals 1n squared plus bn plus c. And let's look to see what t1 looks like. So where I see n squared now, I'll have 1 squared. And where I see n beside the b, I'll just have 1 plus c. So t1 is equal to 1 plus b plus c. But from the top here, t1 actually is equal to 7. So I can, if t1 equals all of this, then 7 is equal to all of that. And I generate the equation. Uh, 6 is equal to b plus c, or b plus c is equal to 6, whatever way you want to look at it. Okay? Uh, then I go and I rewrite the form again, tn equals 1n squared, because a is 1, uh, plus bn plus c. Let's look at what t2 should look like then. So where I have n here, I have 2 squared, and where I have bn, I now have b by 2. So t2 looks like 4 plus 2b plus c. But t2 from here uh, is 10, so I let 10 equal to all of this, 4 plus 2p plus c, because 10 and, uh, is the same as t2. And I generate a second equation, 6 is equal to 2b plus 2c. I'm going to take these equations up here then, and I'm going to solve them simultaneously. So we can say 6 equals b plus c uh, over 6 uh, equals 2b plus c. Or I'll rewrite it the way we normally do it, where we have b plus c equals a number and 2b plus c equals a number. I'm going to nail the c, so I'll change the signs here. Uh, they'll cancel out. b minus 2b is minus b. Uh, 6 minus 6 is 0, so b is actually equal to 0. If I bring that up here and put it into the top one, 0 plus c equals 6, so c must be equal to 6. The form is tn is equal to an squared plus bn plus c. I know that a equals 1, b equals 0, and c equals 6, because I just found them there. So my, re my correct nth term rule for the quadratic is actually 1n squared, which is n squared, uh, 
plus 0n, which is no n's, plus c, which is 6. So it's n squared plus 6. And I can check that by seeing what t4 should look like. So I put 4 in for my n. So 4 squared plus 6 is equal to 22. And if I go back to the original question, we'll see that the fourth term is uh, 22 here. Okay. Final one. Uh, we have a sequence... 2, 7, 14, 23, the first difference is that, the second difference is there. So again, for this one, A is 1. Uh, I put uh, A is 1, and I get Tn equals this. Uh, T1, so in other words, when N is 1, T1 looks like this, but T1 from the sequence up here is 2. Equating that in, I generate this equation. I do the same uh, for uh, Tn looks like this. Uh, so T2 looks like that when n is 2, but T2 is 7. I equate that there, and so I get this equation here. And when I solve them simultaneously, I'll get that B is equal to 2. B is equal to 2, and uh, C is actually equal to minus 1. So I rewrite that into the form that Tn equals An squared, which is 1n squared, which is n squared, plus Bn, which is 2n minus 1, which is my c value.